in this section you are going to see how to add brake lines to the surface so brake lines is an item that improves the accuracy of a surface so if you need to have a more better idea about brake lines i have included a brake video that gives a better understanding about brake lines so you can watch the that video in the description found in the description so to add brake lines first we need to get a brake line get the brake lines into this drawing so if you have proper survey data you can draw the brake lines on your surface like you have the center line points here so you can draw a line connecting the center line points and the tar edge points here te points and also on the other side as well but i have already drawn these lines for you so i'll go to open a new drawing here so in your exercise files folder you will have something called tar edge and center lines so you have to select this tar edge and center lines and click open so it will you can close this one it will give you the tar edge and center lines of the survey area so this is the center line this is the right tar edge this is the left tar edge so i will select all these lines at once right click go to clipboard then copy with base point and for the base point on the command line i'll type 0 comma 0 comma 0 and press enter then i am going to the surface boundary added for my original drawing then i'll right click on it and go to clipboard and go to paste here and for the insertion point i'll type 0 comma 0 comma 0 so you will see those lines now added into the surface if you closely watch you can see mostly they are going along the center line and tide points so they are currently polylines if you put the cursor on these lines it will show you it is a polyline right so now we are going to add the uh, break lines or add these tide lines center lines to our surface as break lines first i will select these lines so to do that i will select all three lines at once and it will give you uh it will select all these lines for you so if you have so many parts of the lines you have to select all of them at once then you go to surface expand these surfaces expand eg expand the definition and go to break lines right click then go to add and your name would be surface break lines and you have to select proximity type break lines because we had 2d polylines so we had polylines if you have 3d polylines you can add standard break lines if you have 2d polylines like here you should add uh, proximity break lines in this case so we will add proximity break lines and then click okay so it will add all the uh, break lines to the surface it will uh, ignore one point without adding so we are not going to bother much about that so i close this one now you can see my break lines are added into this layer surface so if you need you can see what are the lines here it is edge of bitumen line center line and then edge of bitumen line on the right side so if you want you can put all these layers into a new layer called break lines otherwise you can keep them as it is and also you can uh, freeze these layers after adding the break lines so now i am going to click the surface and go to object viewer from here or either right clicking from here so if you go to the surface now you are, now you will see more clear road surface in the middle earlier it was not that clear before adding the brake lines but now you can see 
much more clear surface in the middle of this so much more clear road in the center of this surface that is because we added uh, brake lines so that is how brake lines is useful when you are modeling a surface so now i'll close this one by pressing escape now we have completed adding brake lines to the surface